What's up everyone, it's the Jirus here. As we enter this new year, I wanted to cover some things about what we can expect for DayZ in 2024. A few weeks ago, the official DayZ YouTube channel released a 10 year anniversary video covering the successes that it has seen over the decade, which included 60 patches and updates and over 10 million copies being sold. The video also featured some of the top DayZ streamers and various other content creators. At the very end of the video, it sparked some serious interest for the community featuring the Yellow King, which is found in many trailers and teasers in Daisy's past updates. The clip featured this iconic person on what looks like an airstrip and has a number 35 on it. There's been much controversy among the community whether they are catching a snowflake which could hint towards us getting a new snow map, or perhaps they are bringing changing seasons to the game. Others have suggested that we could be getting a map called Tanoa, which is fairly popular in Arma 3. That featured a giant volcano, meaning that the snowflake could actually be ash. This theory could potentially be debunked as the creative lead for Daisy and the creator of Namalsk, Adam Franku, tweeted on X and gave his insights on the 10 year anniversary video, stating that exciting times are ahead, with the snowflake emoji on the end. At the beginning of 2024, we will probably see some technical updates and not any major updates until the first quarter of the year assuming the patterns of what Bohemia Interactive has done in the past. Hopefully we can see a new gun of some sort in late February to early March. We will also probably get a roadmap for 2024 in the coming weeks or possibly early February at the latest. Nonetheless, it is very exciting to see that DayZ could potentially be getting a new map as the only official maps in the game across all platforms are Cherneris and Livonia, which was released in December of 2019. After almost a four year period with no other paid DLC, this could be a very smart move to bring in new and existing players to the game. In November of 2023, the game saw a new all time peak player count on PC with 69,372 players. I think Bohemian Interactive is playing their cards right and aims to bring a new map to keep players interested and break the record yet again sometime in 2024. There was also a 10 year anniversary Q&A video from the developers and project lead Thomas Pribble stated that they have many plans in the works such as free updates and a little something more. I would say that this definitely hints that another paid TLC will be coming out fairly soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are we getting a new map or just a winter version of Turneris? Tell me what you are most excited to see this coming year. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!